everyone! Today I'm going to be showing you eight different ways that you can attach rope to a dowel rod or a stick or anything of your choosing. This is just eight different ways that you can get started attaching that rope so you can create different macrame patterns. Let's get started. Our first method is the most commonly used, making it probably the most used macrame knot in general, and that is the lark's head knot. So to make this, we'll just take our rope and fold it in half. We send it over our dowel rods. We'll have this loop right behind where we send the two ropes hanging down straight through it. And then we just tug on those to tighten it. And this is the lark's head knot. Our next method is very similar to the lark's head and it is the reverse lark's head. So again, you fold your rope in half and this time we're gonna take that behind our dowel rod, send it over so our loop is in front and then we just take those two ropes and send them through that loop. And then we pull it tight. And that's the reverse lark's head. The difference is that in our normal lark's head, you can see this nice line right across, and in the reverse, it's hidden. Our next method is the lark's head knot with a half hitch knot using both ropes. So we'll start by doing our lark's head. So when you have your lark's head done, we're going to do a half hitch knot on each rope. So we'll start with the one on the left. We're just going to take it and send it over our rod so that we have this loop. It goes around and then through that loop. And then we pull it tight. Then we're going to do the same thing with this rope. So we just take it in front of our dowel rod, so there's the loop, then it goes around and through that loop. And you pull it tight. This method's really nice as it gives it a little more width between the two ropes and a cool design up top. For our fourth method, we're going to do a reverse lark's head with half hitch knots. So I just send that behind over the dowel rod, pull the two strings through, pull it tight. Then I take my left side to go over my dowel rod so that there's a loop. We send it around and through the loop, pull that tight. And then this side goes over, around, and through. And then I pull it tight. Just like that. So again, the difference is on this one, we have that nice line, and on this one, it's hidden. For our fifth method, we're going to start with a lark's head knot. And this time we're going to do reverse half hitches with each rope. I'll start on the left and this time it's going to go from behind my dowel rod. So I have the loop, as you can see it goes behind. Then it comes in front of that dowel rod to go through the loop. And I pull that tight. Then I'm going to do the same with this side. So I take it behind and it goes through that loop. And then I pull it tight. So this was the Lark's head knot with reverse half hitches. Now we will do the reverse Lark's head with reverse half hitches.
This is a great method if you want it to look like you just used lark's head knots, but you want a little bit of space between your ropes because it looks exactly like you did the lark's head knot, only one rope hangs down from each one. So it's really cool and it's great if you need that wider space between your ropes. Another method of tying ropes is very similar to this and that we are going to use the same knots, only this time we're going to make a little loop in between our lark's heads. So we'll start with our reverse. And this time when I have my lark's head, I'm going to not pull it tight all the way. I'm going to leave it a little loose like this. Okay, so it's not pulled all the way tight. And then I'm going to take my rope here on the left and I'm going to do a reverse hitch like before. So I'm just going to take it behind my dowel rod so I have this loop and then I just send it through that loop. And again for now I'm just going to leave it a little loose while I do this side. So I'm just going to take this side behind so I have the loop, then my other rope goes through that loop. Okay, so as you can see everything is kind of loose. I'm going to pull this center one, so that original lark, reverse lark head that we did, I'm just going to kind of pull it down just slightly and then I'm going to tighten my ends. So I'm just going to yank on the other string to tighten those ends. And then I'm going to pull them next to each other and tighten if I need to. And as you can see, I have this cute little loop that hangs down. So this is a pretty fun little decorative way. So you could start then your wall hanging below your loops. So you've already got a cool feature added in. You can have a lot of fun with that. And now let me show you one more cool loop method. Again, we will start with our reverse Lark's Head Knot and we're going to repeat using the same method we did before where we don't pull it all the way tight. And then we're also going to do our half hitch knots the same way as well. So again, take that right behind your dowel rod and then pull it through the loop. And I'm going to leave it loose as I did before. Same way on this side. Take it right behind, take it through that loop, leave it a little loose, and then I'm going to take this part that hangs down here and I'm going to swing it around so it's up top on my dowel rod. And then what I'm going to do is just push all these together and then tighten by pulling each rope that's hanging down. Just like that. So now I have a cool loop that sits up on top. So this is also another cool decorative method. You could even use this type of knot to hang your whole project from. So when you're hanging in on hooks, you could use a knot like this to do that. And I do think that this does work a little better with stiffer rope just so it will make sure that this loop stays up top. So that's your more stiff twisted cord, so like three ply if it's stiff, and your braided cord should work pretty good with this method. And there you go guys, that is eight different ways that you can attach your rope to a dowel rod or driftwood or a stick or copper rods, whatever it is you like to use. These are just a few different ways that you can do that if you don't want to keep using this knot, which is also very important to know and it is very effective and it's beautiful and it works great. So if that is the knot of your choice, that's great. It's usually the one I use as well. <laughs> but yeah, 
So there are some other methods too that are a little more decorative. So if you would like to see a video on those methods, please leave me a comment and let me know. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and I really hope you found this video helpful and inspiring.